What is up YouTube? I'm back with another PvP build and again with another one hit build this time. The one hit ability is Onslaught which deals a ton of damage between 25 to 30k with this build. I'm using Sword Singer on the front bar. Of course a great sword since Onslaught gives max penetration. Indian Horde for extra weapon damage. Full infused on the jewelry here. And then New Moon, a second set. Alternative instead of New Moon, you could use Automaton, which is even better for 1 or 2%. But I don't have it in full divines, that's why I use New Moon here. Then Molakina for extra weapon damage. In the next patch, you should use Balorg, since Molakina will not work out of combat anymore. You have to be in combat then. Back bar, just of a Tash on Greatsword for extra weapon damage if I am in combat, up to 300 weapon damage more. I'm on 7 medium, since we already have max penetration for onslaught. I go with full medium armor for the extra crit damage passive. Here we go. And extra weapon damage, another 40% with agility. Let me show you the skills really quick, afterwards I will talk about the rotation. Camouflage Hunter for Minder Berserk and Slayer. Extra 3% weapon damage. Silver Bolts just slotted for Slayer. Circle of Protection, same stuff, just slotted. Barb Trap, same stuff. And Relentless Focus, also slotted. For the extra 10% more crit damage. Where is it? Here through hammer rage and another 300 more weapon damage with 5 stacks. Then onslaught our ultimate, back bar or buff bar with rally, resolving vigor, chain acceleration and shimmering frenzy the vamp toggle which gives us over I would say 4 or 5k weapon damage it's insane. Shadow Disguise, our cloak ability, and which gives guaranteed crit. And Barrier just slotted for extra Magicka region. Thanks for the support. Passive Magicka 8. Raise I'm Orc for extra weapon damage. Max health and stamina. But Dunman and Khajiit are definitely better here. As well as the Shadow for extra 17% crit damage. Candy Justice Coins for max stamina and Magicka region. Vamp stage 4, so the vamp toggle will cost less HP and we gain more weapon damage thanks to strikes from the shadows and the other passive unnatural movement which reduces the cost of sprint by 50% and if you continuously sprint for 3 seconds you automatically become invisible. Pretty nice, especially in IC for example, so you can perma sprint and minimal your cloak. Potions, the tricep potions or sometimes even the detection portions. CPs, blue ones, mastered arms, daily aim, fighting finesse and backstabber. With fighting finesse and backstabber, the medium armor passive and the shadow mundus, we are at, let me check, 126% crit damage. The cap is at 125, so perfect. Red CPs, sustained by suffering. Bounders Vitality, Celerity and Slippery. The rotation is similar to the other one shot builds. We basically try to stack as many Simming Frenzy stacks as possible without losing them before we ulti dump. First of all, pick up a target between 25 to 30k HP. Go line of sight, like here behind the wall for example. That's important because Vigor will bring us out of stealth. Keep an eye on this, then keep up chain acceleration for minor force and ready for major brutality. Use the vamp toggle and tee yourself with Vega and ready. Wait at least a couple of seconds, then step closer to your target, but make sure to use Vega before you leave the line of sight position. With Molakina, use two consecutive light attacks to get overkill and then use Onslaught as fast as possible. Pang, 
See you tight. Now with more gameplay footage, enjoy guys, but don't forget to sub my channel, leave a like and a comment below, I would really appreciate it. That's it with another PvP build. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day, guys. And I'll see you hopefully in the next video. Ciao.